thousands of protesters from across the country are expected to gather on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. today for the Get Your Knee Off Our Necks March. It takes place on the 57th anniversary of the March on Washington when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made his I Have a Dream speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Demonstrators are expected to channel that message and protest police violence and racial injustice. White House correspondent Rachel Scott is there at the Lincoln Memorial. Rachel, what is seen? How does this year's anniversary of the March on Washington differ from years past? Yeah, well, you know, Diane, it was the fight for racial equality that moved to turn out here in 1963, and it is still that same fight that is bringing thousands of people back to the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to recommit to that dream of Martin Luther King Jr. And really, violence against black communities is the common thread from the past to the present. Then there was outrage over the Birmingham bombings in Alabama. Today, there is outrage over the killing of black men and women in this country. And so today, they are coming here, taking to the streets, but still, the turnout today is expected it to be smaller because of DC's coronavirus restrictions. Temperature checks, face masks will be required. Uh, one Milwaukee group that we spoke with walked hundreds of miles right here to the nation's capital to take this step uh, towards freedom, towards racial justice, they say. And Rachel, we know this march is expected to draw huge crowds. There were also protesters outside the White House during the RNC last night. I know you spoke to some of them. What's their message overall? Diane, it was a remarkable contrast. In a split screen last night, you had the president accepting the Republican nomination on the South Lawn of the White House. Outside, you had protesters out. And so much of the outrage coming from protesters is the lack of action, not only by the president, but from law, from all lawmakers. They want to hear the president say the words that are painted right there on the plaza in front of the White House. Black lives matter. They want to hear the president say the name of Jacob Blake. And they want to hear the president not only talk about the unrest that is happening in our nation right now, but the cause of it, how black people and brown people in this country are treated differently from others. And that is the message that they wanted to send to the president last night, Diane. And no doubt that's going to be some of the messages we hear today. Who are we expecting to hear from today? Well, Al Sharpton is a big organizer of this march. He decided to move this march forward after the outrage over the death of George Floyd. So we'll be hearing from George Floyd's family here today. And he will also be, uh, they will be joined by the relatives of Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner. Uh, and, you know, the message here today is to talk about uh, the racial inequality, right? And to put some pressure on Congress to pass police reform, uh, to pass uh, voting rights, um, to ensure voting Voting rights ahead of the November uh, election. They want to make sure that this outrage turns into lasting impact. And that is the message that we are hearing from organizers here today. But you know, it was eight minutes and 46 seconds that that officer had his knee on the neck of George Floyd. And today, organizers say that America has had its knee on the neck of black and brown people in this country for far too long, Diane. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.